Okay, YouTube. So here we go. Look at what we got here. So this is the box. We got some info. You can freeze it, read it, do with it what you want. Here it is. And I already opened this one. So let me just show you here. There it is. If we turn it around. There it is. And yeah, I did open this one. But this box I did not open. And that's what we're going to do now. Hang on. Okay, so here's the box. Starting from the bottom here. Maybe we can get some natural light over here. Going all the way up. We have a bunch of figures. You can pause it right there. And there. And just look at that. SH figure has 15th, 13th, 30th anniversary here. The side of the box. What have we got here? Dragon Ball SH figure arts. Jump, five jump books. And some Japanese, some stars, pictures. Look at that. That's just a beautiful thing. Then we got the front. And wow. Just look at it. So this is the uh, the sticker thing. Maybe I catch some light with it, sure. And we have, I believe we have a sticker more on the bottom here. Yep. There it is. Golden sticker. I don't want to spend too much time on the box, so you can just pause it, freeze it, do with it as you please it. This is the last one. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get into a bit of the, the topic today. So, uh, Akira Toriyama has passed away. Actually, he passed away March 1st. I'm not sure if I'm blocking the mic here. I'm sorry. And that's incredibly sad. And that just made me want to actually unbox this guy today. So this is uh, Kakarot Ultra Instinct. And this is the uh, Toyotaro edition which he approved so yeah if you're watching this video you probably know what who, who this guy is we also got uh, Gohan here beast and over here we got some C21 Android C21 and now we have a doggy hey oh so sweet oh little baby Oh. <laughs> okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, yeah. So uh, let's uh, get this going. We got a visitor. So this one is um, unopened. It has the the thing there. It is. I don't know if you can actually see whether it's opened or not. I guess you can't really. Anyway, I have. To, I will have to cut this up. We will take it out this way out and uh, get into the box and wow I have been looking and waiting and hoping to uh, add this guy to my collection which is growing it just pretty much finished I just finished my collection like I mean you always want to add more right but yesterday and today I found out the that uh, Mr. Akira Toriyama had passed so uh, yeah, I just had to do it now. These guys over here, those two, and that guy down there. If you want to see a review of those, uh, link below. Those are Ichiban Kuji, and this one is as well. This is a non no brand, came in that box. And, no, no, that's a solid edge work, that one. So yeah, check that out if you want to. Now I'm going to take this guy out of the box. No more um, beating around the bush. And there you go. I broke the seal. Here's the... I believe this is the back side of the book. I, I was supposed, just about to say bus. This is the, uh, the box with the box, I guess. And that's the box for the box in the box. 
and here is the box itself with the figure. This is interesting. It has no stickers on here. Those are all over on this guy. What about the back side here? Nope. No stickers. And it is also unbroken. So let's just appreciate this art right here for a moment. Man, that just looks so good. <laughs> Now my dog, she wants to be part of the review. <laughs> okay, we got this far. So just a quick view of the backside of the box here. Let's see. And this is actually what I wanted to show you. So I guess this is kind of a how-to. And there it is. And this is the front of the booklet. Uh, there's plastic on this one. I'm gonna look through this later. Okay, so far so good. So these, I believe, they are loose. These heads. So I'm not probably not going to be able to stand this up too good uh, without them falling out. So let's just hold it here. Um, so let me just look at it with my own eyes. And I can tell that the camera is uh, more of a yellowish tint, 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 what is that, T tint? Um, in reality, this looks more like, uh, it's a more, it's not as yellow, it's more kind of like a, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but the color is a little bit off on the camera, I can see that. So you'll have to excuse my camera for that. But just look at this. I mean, look at my finger, how big it is. And look at how small these details are. This one is just amazing. I mean, look at that. The detail. Wow. The sculpt is crazy. I love this hair, hair. Uh, this windblown hair. Man. Okay, let's get him out of the, uh, the plastic here. Okay, so here he is. Let's see. Starting from the bottom here. All the way up. Let's see, did we get a decent stand here? Maybe we, ooh, careful now. Maybe we can get a little bit more natural light in here. So yeah, take a look at that. Let me focus up. Okay. I mean, this figure, it just feels so great. But let me just make uh, my first pose. This is just kind of out of the box. A little bit of eye contact. Okay, interesting. What do you think, Gohan? I think he likes it. So we have a lot of uh, packages coming soon. So I thought this would be a great way to set it off. My little collection here. And, um, yeah, I mean, this figure is just, it's just mind-blowing. So, uh, let me just, uh, pose it up a little bit for you guys. Just a second. Oh, maybe I should just, uh, turn him around here. So you could get a, a look. So let's see if we can, uh, catch some of the... The hair. It, it really isn't like glittery at all, which I actually appreciate. And you can see he has uh, he's battle scarred. He's very well, um, what is that called? Uh, airbrushed, I want to say, but you know, he, he's shaded, right? You can see he, he has shades. 
So uh, yeah, okay, so let me just uh, pose him up. You can lay right here in, at the comma house, hang on. Okay, so this is the first pose. So this is going to be a, a meditation pose. Um, quieting the mind and sending out our well wishes to the father of Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama, wishing him peace, happiness, and freedom from suffering, and also um, just, you know, genuine, complete uh, gratefulness for all the Dragon Ball and all the adventures, characters, and amazing stories that he brought the world. So this is my the choice, my first choice pose here. Goku meditating uh, with palms joined in, and um, just sitting quietly. Uh, a moment of silence, a respectful meditation, and a prayer, if you will, if you will. And I think uh, Goku needs to meditate a little bit right now, so I'm probably going to just leave him here. That doesn't mean that we can't appreciate the, the art here. Just look at that hair. That's what I'm, I'm trying to catch here. So, oh, we have the classic alignment issue here. That's classic Toriyama. Anyway, I don't know if any of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Let's see. Okay, there's the focus. So, uh, a silent meditation, gratitude, and appreciation, and well wishes for uh, Mr. Akira Toriyama's next adventure beyond the uh, the mortal life here on Earth. And yeah, I mean. Uh, Just a moment of silence. I'm not like the biggest reviewer. I'm more of a collector. So I'm just so happy that I got this figure. And I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm always uh, a little bit scared and careful. I don't want to break anything. It just seems like it's so easy to make a mistake. But these figures are actually pretty tough. I mean, it is a Goku figure, right? Or a Kakarot, perhaps I should say. Nah, Goku will do fine for this. For the purpose of this video. But yeah, I um, I will definitely do some other poses in the future. But I think it's just necessary that today we just uh, send our best wishes and um, perhaps uh, perform some good acts. And dedicate them towards um, the father of Dragon Ball, Toriyama. And uh, we should be on our best behavior. And we should be respectful and radiant. 
and good, pure-hearted. Every day we should be like Goku and uh, do our best. And in that way we can honor uh, the legacy of Akira Tor Toriyama. So, uh, yeah, please once again join me for just a moment of silence, reflection and gratitude, meditation and we will be out of this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And on this, I mean, on this uh, day of, of sorrow and, you know, we feel sad that we don't get um, any more adventures with the guys from uh, Mr. Toriyama. Um, I'm sorry, guys. It's just, uh, yeah. We never know about the future, right? Just like uh, Kira himself. What he's doing right now, where he is, right? No one knows, not even himself. So that's just uh, how it is when talking about the future. And we should just be grateful and do our best. And uh, that will be enough. And the future will be bright. And our hearts will be pure and, and joyful. So thank you so much if you watched all this way. And um, may you have a peaceful day. And yeah, I wish you all the best as well. I hope no one is, uh, you know, in despair. Everyone has uh, their their day of leaving this planet. Goku did it twice, as far as I know, right? I haven't actually watched all of Dragon Ball Super yet, so I still have a little bit uh, in the vault, which I'll be uh, hopefully just uh, binging today. But uh, yeah, perhaps one day we will meet King Yema, and he will judge us. And we will take it from there, I guess, right? So yeah, thank you so much and all the best. Peace.